So for um, everyone who's just tuning in, my name is Tia. I am your host of Talks with Tia, and I am the creator of Tea with Tia. And today I have a different guest. Um, you might have seen him in the blogs <laughs> recently, uh, you know, a little debacle with Soulja Boy, but we'll get into that later. Um, but I'll let him introduce himself, so let everybody know who you are and what you do. I world tool. I'm an artist. I do a whole lot of other things, too, but we just going to keep it at that right now. All right. So uh, World Tour Woo, do you go by that whole name or is it just Woo? Like, what do you go by? Woo. woo. So how, how, did, how did you come up with that name? So my name, name, like my real nickname was Woody. I just took Woo. I just got tired. of get tired. It's called Woody all the time. I got too old for that shit. I ain't gonna lie. And <laughs> Woody. My partner gave me the name World Tour because I used to go out of town so much and shit. So he's just like, you are you on a big ass World Tour. And I, I just took it around with it. Like, that shit had a ring to it. World tour, woo. All right. I mean, it makes sense. So, uh, where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis. Is that where you live now? Yeah. Well, I be back and forth between her and L.A. So, you can say right. I stay in both, for real, for real. World tour. I mean, you be, you be all over it. Something that most people don't know about you. I want to know. I don't drink or smoke. So you don't drink or smoke. Uh, so are you any fun at parties? Talk shit, crack jokes and shit, but I don't really. I ain't gonna lie at parties. I be observing. So I don't like going out. I don't drink or smoke for real. I be real observing. Yeah, we know you like to be observant. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm watching the whole room. I don't even. Drink. <laughs> I might get a drink. I might get a drink every now and then, but going to the nah, I ain't getting no drinks. I ain't buying no bottles. No, I ain't doing nothing. Where? So, have you been seeing the the crate challenge that everybody been doing? Yeah, hey, yeah. I had a thousand. So, we been do the crate challenge down to the more. Oh God! So wait, so you're gonna actually try it? Or are you hosting it? Hell yeah, no, nah, I ain't gonna try. It. I ain't gonna crash out. I'm gonna host one. All right. So you offering? You say you offering a thousand? I'm offering a thousand. You could put up your little 40 or 50, walk away as a thousand, but I'm gonna make it so hard for you to win. It ain't no. So, ain't no okay. Problem. So, you say you, okay, so you say you host a challenge, but would you do it for $1,000? If somebody offered you $1,000, yeah. would you do it? Huh. <laughs> you ain't for the crash me out. Okay. Because yeah. huh. I'm like, all these people out yeah. here doing it, it ain't breaking bones. Like, y'all got insurance. You gonna, you gonna have waivers out there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Waivers. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to say, because people will be quick to try to, like, sue you over something. So you said you're going to make it hard for them. Like, what are you, you playing to do something different, adding more crates? What's what's the element? Like, how are you going to make it different? One to three, three to six. Oh, uh, see, what? <laughs> hold, hold on. Go there. Go there. Uh-uh. Bruh. You heard it. <laughs> So you know what? You, so what's happening here is you don't want nobody to win because they win. I watch somebody do it just like that. Somebody from three knows. to six crates. They made it to the bottom. I see the video. They made it to the bottom. Yeah, you got to send me the video because if I mean no video it didn't happen. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we got the crate challenge going up with World Tour Woo tomorrow. Thousand dollars on the line. Y'all be easy out there. <laughs> you really. So, so who are you currently listening to right now? Like, if we if we went to your your Apple Music, who 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 are you I, listening to? I've been right away lately. I ain't gonna lie, that the looks hard. Right away. Yeah, that looks uh -huh. hard. So, how you feel about Rod Wade and his position with Murray? Have you been keeping up with that, or how he kind of feel like he's been replaced? Me and my pops be arguing about this. I don't like Murray. I think he. I don't like like I don't like his music. I just really, I think Murray has great music. I don't like, I don't know. I just don't listen to him. I took a listen to some of his shit, but I just, I don't know. So, so what is it that you? Okay, let's go back. So you like Rod Wave? Yeah. So what is it that you dislike about Murray? I'm not. I want to understand. This, this ain't clicking. Like when I be hearing music, got to got to click. Like, oh yeah, this nigga hard. Right. He ain't made nothing. I ain't saying he whack. I'm just saying he ain't made nothing that I would listen to. Okay. I got so do you? Repeat. <laughs> you didn't. You, <laughs> you didn't like quit saying. Nah. Really. I want. So I want a fan of that. I ain't gonna lie. So I guess you would agree that 
Murray is an industry plant, how they keep saying he is? I ain't going to say that because I ain't really listen to him like this. So I can't hear that. I don't really. I listen to a few songs for some put me on, but I don't really like. I don't think they the same. Like when I heard like what he talking about and what he talking about, I don't think it's. It might be a little similarity, probably because they both fat, but I don't know. <laughs> if somebody was like, why Rod Wave think he the first fat nigga to know how to see? <laughs> I, I mean, but... I, I just, I just ain't, he might be hard. It ain't nothing that I want to listen to. It's a lot of, like, I ain't like NBA Young Boy at first. What up? Interesting. Yeah, what's up? Well, I feel like Lorraine makes um he makes like pain music. Cause I, I love people who tell stories through their rap. Rod Wave do. Right. And I like Rod Wave. Like I'm not saying I don't like him. So I was just curious, you know, how you felt about Murray being that Rod Wave feels like he's been replaced. But it's interesting that you like Rod Wave and you don't like Murray. So that's pretty interesting. Can't be. Yeah. You heard what he said. Rod Wade, my boy, though, I ain't gonna lie, I've been listening to Rod Wade for a long time. Before he dropped all these new albums and been mainstream, I was listening to him. So I ain't gonna lie, I've been a fan of Rod Wade for a long time. All right, respect, respect. All I right. challenge you to listen to Murray and, <laughs> and, <Look. see> if, <laughs> and see if you might like him. Like I mean, him. I'm from North Carolina, so, you know, I really support Murray. So. Oh, he from North Carolina? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. How you put, all right, that makes sense. I don't know though. I ain't really, yeah, CB. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> it, I can't, I can't get with it. See, Rod Wave making a nigga want to cry and get in his feelings and think about. We see, man, look, they know the real. They know the real. Well, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta get into this Soulja Boy situation real quick because honestly, that was how I even heard of it, you know? So we're gonna, we're gonna, I just wanna. Want to dive in because I got some follow up questions because I was trying to follow along with what was going on, but it was kind of all over the place. So I, I did hear Soldier Boy say that you were following him because I saw that there was a recording of an altercation that he was in, and then you seen him at the mall. So give us a tea on that. Start us from the beginning. Like what? What? What's the real, real with that? Was well, like I seen like so I seen the nigga earlier at like we was at this um. It ain't it ain't no fashion show. It's like a it's like a clothing vendor show. You feel me? Like all the brands be there or whatever. Cause I'm finna start my merch line. So I was just out there moving around, and I seen him. I really didn't see him at first. I just heard somebody yelling. I'm like, bro, who the fuck is this yelling? It ain't even that type of environment, you know. And I said, this nigga, you got a tour somewhere. I don't know who it was. For real, for real. He act like he was trying to chase them through the little thing, but like. If he was there, you knew it was like an enclosed situation, you feel me? So he could have found what he was looking for. I don't really know what, what was going on, but seeing them, the show really won. It ain't really had none I was looking for, so I left. I went to Caesar's Palace, I think. That's where the mall in Vegas. You ever been to Vegas before? I've been to Vegas, but Caesar's Palace is the hotel, casino. Got, I think it got a mall in it, though. I think it oh, got a mall. Oh, shit. I guess. <laughs> So I'm looking, Don't give me the line. <laughs> but look, I went to the Chrome Horse store. I'm like, hey, where, the, uh, where that shoe store? I'm going to So the lady in the Chrome Horse store was like, it's on the other side of the mall. So we walking. I'm like, damn, I don't see this, see this store. When I looked on my phone, it said it moved down to the fashion show. Pops, I was with my daddy. So he wanted to go back to the hotel. I was still looking for the shoe store because I wanted some more shoes. I ended up walking all the way down the strip, go to the fashion show now. I'm walking through the mall. I don't see the shoe store. So when I look on my phone and looking for the shoe store in the mall, it says it's permanently closed. So I'm like, damn, I ain't even, I just did this shit for no reason. Basically, that got me going in the whole circle. Now, I'm walking through the mall trying to go to sex. Now, the kiosk at the bottom. So, you know, I'm just walking. I'm on FaceTime with somebody, though. Talking shit, talking shit. So somebody just said, we just look over the thing. I look over the banister. I see a group of people at a kiosk. Mind you, I just seen him. So as soon as I see, I see the dress, I said, yeah, I know this ain't who I think it is. Uh, it wasn't really meant to go like. So it was that. like a coincidence that you ran into him again. Yeah. Because like, he was convinced that you were following him. No. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> this was ironic. This nigga was at the mall at the same time as me. I went, it's, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. He in the okay. park. And I walked the whole strip. That don't even, that don't even make sense. It's hot as hell in Vegas. I want to, oh, oh, it's definitely hot in Vegas. <laughs> 110 degrees outside. You think I want to follow you, man? Hell nah. 
So when I seen it, I'm just like, man, bro, I know this ain't what's going on. So I recorded and I posted it, but I'm like, I didn't think it was gonna go that viral because I ain't think none of it. You feel me? Like, I ain't think. So does okay. So being at the kiosk was in the middle of the mall. So does that automatically insinuate that the jury is fake? Yeah. Look, some told me to like record this because people thought I was capping, but like I just like fuck that shit because I never think thought it was gonna go viral. I walked past the kiosk. That kiosk and sell no real true, you know, God. The one behind it did though. Like the one behind it had rollies and everything, like Cartier it. The one behind it had all that. But that wasn't the one he was at though. Okay, because he did go back and post um, a video showing the the price of the Cartier watch saying it was 35k. So you're that saying was, that's not even the stand he was, was at. That was like some fake appraisal papers. That ain't really like that's a jeweler right there who in the thing, he know. You can write whatever on them appraisal paper. That's what everybody do. When you get insurance on your jewelry, you're supposed to go tell them, hey, make this appraisal way higher than what I paid for just in case something happened. I get cash out and I'll give me a new chain. But a lot of people don't know that game, though. So did you ever meet back up with Soulja Boy at the mall? Because I know he was telling you, he was, you know, calling you out. So <laughs> Say what? He didn't go back to the mall. Did you go back? <laughs> nah, I ain't go back. I was slow. Look, I, look how about I say? I'm just, just wondering because he, he was, you know, telling you pull up. But you did look, go back to the kiosk, though. Look, he was saying go back to the mall. When I got on his live and tried to get back in there, he went at me. He was sitting in the room. When he told me go to the live, 30 minutes later, the nigga was still in the room. Okay. So, but you did talk to the to the kiosk guy, and he said that there was two, there's two stands, a stand that sold real jury and so fake jury. Yeah. So, but you never technically said that Soulja Boy bought fake jewelry, but that, it's almost like you kind of you kind of let people insinuate that. So that's probably that, why he was upset. But that ain't you shouldn't have hopped in my life, cause now I'm asking you, what was you doing in the middle of the mall? You can't answer that question. You shouldn't have got in my life. He got in my life. I didn't. I didn't invite him to lie he got yeah life. i did see that um that he jumped in he was also looking for you on clubhouse so i don't know if y'all ever once see look see now that now i'm gonna clear that up he wasn't looking for me at clubhouse see what okay. was um, we was already in a room already on clubhouse they called whack 100 called him when he called him he told him to get on clubhouse they was calling him for like 20 minutes anybody that was on clubhouse they knew what was going on they was calling him when he finally answered the phone, he got on Clubhouse. And then once he got on Clubhouse, he started his own room. I sat in the room for hell. Is my name was at the top. Like, if you go on YouTube and look at all the Clubhouse parties, my name Yeah, was I saw. Top. So it's like, how you looking for me on Clubhouse? And it's only three of y'all up there talking. And I'm right there, right where you can see me. If you ain't got to scroll down, I'm sitting right there. And you know, Clubhouse, you can't message nobody and be like, add me. So... It's only so far you could go. So I was. Well, they really, got the little DM thing on Clubhouse now. They have yeah. a little new. On no Clubhouse in a long time. I've been on Clubhouse like four months. I didn't even know people still got on Clubhouse. Oh well, yeah, they they have. Uh, so since we're talking about jewelry, what's the most expensive piece of jewelry you own? Mm, probably my chain. Your chain. Yeah. So how do you feel about you know we was talking about how you like the people watch because our people watch too. It's definitely a great sport. Um, but so how do you feel about people saying that you were pocket watching? Like they was a lot of people were saying as a grown man, why are you worried about what you know what he got going on? So how do you feel about people saying that? Yeah, I didn't even have to comment on the shit that was going on. <laughs> That's how I feel. Like you can't even have to comment on the shit that was going on. You feel me? Like y'all giving me life. Y'all said he saying this, y'all giving me life. Y'all could have gone ahead and got me up out the way. You feel me? Right, yeah. they they brought a lot of um, attention to you, especially after academics posted it. So, do and you look, feel like clout can be a bad I, thing? It's not. See, it's not pocket watching. It's cut the cap. You feel me? Because it's like I, you saying you this type of person, this type of person, this type of person, but nigga, you capping like. At the end of the day, if it was little baby mail the mall and it wasn't me, somebody else would have did it. You feel right. me? Right. I want the only one with a video who sent who had that. Somebody was on the other. I sent the video. Somebody was on the other side of the thing, like where I was sending that. Somebody was on the other side recording the exact same thing. It's just that didn't go viral. Well, Mine did. 
So, yeah, so, you know, people are, are going to, of course, they're going to say, oh, you're clout chasing or you're looking for a year, five minutes of fame or whatever. So do you think that clout can be considered a bad thing? Because apparently, you know. I'm a honey. I don't even know what, I'm not even, I ain't even going to say nothing about clout because at the end of the day, the internet, man, the internet is wishy-washy. It's yeah. fucked. One week they hate you, next week they love you, next week they, man, this shit wish you watch it at the end of the day. All public, I really understand all publicity is good publicity. So, so are you signed to a label or are you independent? Independent. You're independent. So, being as an independent artist, why did you uh, turn down the deal from WAC 100? Because it really, like, I look at a deal like this. You signing a deal to get out your situation, you feel me? If this, if this ain't gonna help me get out of my situation, it ain't even no point of signing. Like, it ain't even no point. It's people out here who got deals who still at home with their mamas. Okay. Some all uh, Warner Brothers, they got a they got a thousand artists, literally. You only know like ten. They sign the people. Hey, five, ten people every day, every day, every day. You only know, not like ten of these niggas. What's the, what's the point of signing? You could have been dropping your little music on SoundCloud, Apple Music yourself. These niggas, they not happy. They really putting you in debt. That ain't, it don't make sense. I, I'm not opposed to no deal, but until it makes sense. All right, I got you. I got you. I could go do that on my own. <laughs> Cause I mean, I kind of figured. Cause I, I did hear a little bit of the conversation that y'all had on Clubhouse. Um, so, real quick, do you have an opinion on the interview that he did with 6 9 Because I do know that was a big thing that was going on. Do you have an opinion about that? No? I mean, we just ain't talking to Rex. I feel you. Thank you for pulling up on me. Uh, we'll Frozen. definitely have to... Frozen came too late. We almost up off her. Oh, yeah. They, they late. They oh, late. They, like, <laughs> they, they too thin to win. They over here. They over here, man. Hey, the social media fans, they followed you and they turned their post notifications. Yeah. They, 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 they on your ass. They, <laughs> they on you. Well. Yeah. But it's all good, though. Yeah, it's all good. You know, hopefully, social boy get over it. Maybe y'all do a song together, you know? Who knows? Maybe not. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'll talk to you later. You have a good night. Thank you. All right.